Hi, Demi Shack here. Now today we're talking about EA as EA is in some hot water. Now as you may or may have not heard, there is a petition against EA, Steam, DICE, Sony, Microsoft, all of them, to do an unconditional refund of Battlefield 2042. However, some people want to take it a step further and sue EA. So let's get into this, find out what is going on, and let's have a look at it right now. So, I'm going to read the title, which I do every now and then. Class Action Lawsuit Beckons for EA after Battlefield 2042 Refund Petition Gains Traction. A number of disgruntled fans want to force EA to refund their copies of Battlefield 2042. Battlefield 2042 has found itself in a situation as similar to the one Cyberpunk 2077 ran into at its release. A group of owners have started a petition requesting that EA offer unconditional refunds for the game and masses. The change.org petition, personally I don't think petitions do anything but we'll see how this petition goes, which at the time of writing has 500 thousand and eight hundred and eleven probably more now is directed at EA DICE Sony Interactive Steam Microsoft and the Federal Trade Commission FTC please sign this petition if you feel you deserve a refund for Battlefield 2042 its mission reads petition creator Shitashi Nakamoto did I actually just pronounce the Japanese name really really good let me know in the comment section down below because as you may know watching this channel i have difficulty pronouncing names of foreign people to actually want to take it a step further they promised that upon reaching 50,000 signatures or more which it already has the petition has been dominating the discussion on battlefield 2042's main subreddit since many members encouraging others to sign it and kickstart the promised class action lawsuit this is the only latest result of Battlefield 2042 players being largely disappointed with the game's technical state and many of its design decisions. DICE has already addressed this statement in its latest blog post announced that it's delaying the start of the first season until summer. Personally, that's kind of unfair to people still playing, if any, are still playing any content as it works with the community to fix the technical side, which yet again is good, but I, I don't think they can manage this game, and tweaks its most controversial design elements. But as the game continues to lose players and content creators, yeah, I'm pretty sure content creators are jumping ship on this. Many simply don't want to wait and see whether DICE manages to right the ship and bring back lapsed players. Indeed, this sad state of effect is forcing communities in place outside of the major hubs to be held hostage to Adams running the food service that exists in those regions. I, I have no idea what that's talking about. It says here, which I, I personally agree with the petitions, petitions largely never go anywhere, but the class action lawsuit that's supposed to be starting as a result of one could be a headache if EA doesn't need. Now, I'm gonna be honest, petitions never go anywhere. Petitions never go anywhere. EA's not gonna listen to this petition. They're gonna try to fix the game, but as we heard, People don't want the game fixed, they're just done with it. Done with it! EA is probably going to get lawsuited in the round over this. I mean, here's the thing, on Steam, you can only refund the game if you have less than two play hours. Which, probably not a lot of people on Steam have that want to refund the game because they're probably over the two hours. Now, I'm just going to say, I think everyone deserves to refund. This game wasn't what was promised, and they did cut legacy features that, or what they call legacy features, which is a kind of stupid because one of those legacy features was, of course, voice chat. And personally, I don't see voice chat as a legacy feature. I'm going to be honest, I don't see it as a legacy feature. I think it's needed for tactical shooters. So, yeah, one of the best lawyers is willing to take it up, and personally, they may be forced to give refunds. They may be forced to give refunds. Yeah, and I think, in my honest opinion, EA just sucks at managing this game. I don't think they did it on purpose. I don't think they absolutely wrecked it to kill the franchise. I don't think it was done on purpose. I think they just suck at managing this game, and then to top it off, it was majoring COVID. Now, I know this is a lazy excuse, because there were other games like Forza 5 that came out of the pandemic and they were really, really good. However, 
As said, I think EA just sucked at managing this game during development and post launch. I don't think people are going to sit around to wait for it to be fixed and Battlefield 2042, which had a cool trailer, will probably go down as one of the worst, if not the worst, Battlefield in history. And that people are willing to play Battlefield 5 over this, and mind you, Battlefield 5 actually had controversy with the lady in World War II with the hook for the hand and she was a lesbian and all that stuff. Which, you know, isn't technically historical accurate, even though women did serve in World War II, but they didn't have hooks for hands, and they didn't serve on the front lines, they served as pilots mainly. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, as well as give your opinions on the subject down below, and I will see you probably later this week. I plan on doing more videos this week. We are doing shorts now, by the way. I figured that I could do stories that I would basically talk only for one minute into like a 30 second video. That's what I figured. So let me know if you haven't checked out the short, go check it out. There's a link in the description to the short, as well as if you haven't yet, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. This is Demi Jack, as always, signing out.